We have had a little bit more progress um, towards the development of phenofibrate, which is a generic drug, which they've had some success on, some researchers from Israel, in curing the COVID. And I want to talk about these uh, successes and then talk what it's going to be necessary to have happen to get this potentially life-saving drug in the mainstream. Two researchers from Israel found 15 people who were on oxygen and had pneumonia. And of the 15 people, after giving them phenofibrate, a generic drug available for very little, they got out of the hospital in five days. The other took, I think it was 14 days. That's pretty incredible stuff. And if it could be used routinely, it would dramatically have reduced the number of deaths in this country. Right now, there are a variety of people around the world trying to do research on this topic, including the University of Pennsylvania, and they're grateful they got some money from the US government. But given the promise of this drug, I think they should have got a lot more money to deal with it quickly. I've talked to the researchers, and they think they'll be able to get together. I guess they need 700 patients before they can make a determination. They think they'll be able to make a determination that this is a good drug by the end of March. That's not quick enough. And if they had more money and more push, they would be able to get more potential patients. And I would like to think, get a final determination by the end of December. So I'm calling on my colleagues in Congress as well as the NIH and the CDC to highlight phenofibrate. It's also known as Tricor. It's been around a long time without dangerous side effects. Maybe there'll be side effects with COVID, but there wasn't dangerous side effects otherwise. Been used by millions of people. Um, I'm going to be circulating a letter hoping that the administration wakes up and does something, and does something quickly. And by the way, this doesn't only cure it, but one of the underpublicized problems with COVID is that if you get it, it can result in long-lasting problems, problems to your lungs, problems to your organs. Uh, it appears tentatively that phenofibrate will clear up those pro problems quicker, and not as many people will have those problems. I'm afraid from what I read that COVID is going to be around a long time. I know people who've got it after being vaccinated, not as bad, I guess, but they've got it. So uh, again, I hope that this institution moves and I hope the administration moves and hope we can move at warp speed and get a final determination on the phenofibrate by the end of December.